So we don't want that. We want something uh, different. So, so how are we going to relax it? And uh, so, so here is the, uh, um, the, uh, the next idea. This is actually an idea that kind of borrowed from cryptographic thinking, which is adding uh, the notion of a simulator. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and let's do it here. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to split the interaction of the system, P, that I'm analyzing, with the external world uh, into two components. One is the kind of the API, the application interface, that's the inputs from the users, from the environment, you know, the, actually the, the, the users of, of my, of my uh, system, uh, and the outputs of my system back to those users. Okay, and this could be a distributed thing, so users can be, happen in different parts of the world, uh, of, of the system, uh, but still, that's the API of my system to the, the users that use it. And this is kind of the functionality. This is what I want to preserve, okay, of, of my system. And uh, the rest. The rest is all the, the, uh, the observables of the system, of the external system on my, uh, uh, on, on my protocol, on my system, which I don't, want to, I don't care to preserve, right? Uh, the number of rounds, or the, uh, uh, the, the, the power consumed, or the, communi the communication, or some internal leakage of information. That's not something that I want to preserve to provide these kind of side effects. Actually, I want to minimize, right? If I want to, uh, want to, if I want to about security, right? Uh, so I want to treat, and I want to treat those things very differently. So what we're going to do, we're going to kind of, uh, uh, um, then I'm going to allow fudging the environment's view of the, all the non-API interaction. Okay, so in what way? So, uh, uh, so here's the, def the definition I'm going to say. So, so uh, uh, I'm going to say that P, the, my system, realizes the ideal service. If there exists some mechanism, machine, or whatever algorithm or, or system, S, such that for any environment, uh, um, I'm going to, um, to, uh, uh, to say that the, inv the, the environment uh, cannot tell whether it's interacting with uh, the protocol or with the ideal uh, service that fudged by this uh, simulator F, and let's see exactly how it is fudged. And that's the important part. Okay, so, so here's a nice picture that I tried to draw. Uh, um, so so the, here is uh, the... Uh, how the, the this is the environment, and it uh, it interacts with my my, my system my system P, uh, in, in, in the, that's all the interactions, and I, I I I split them into the APIs that I want to preserve and all the side effects that I don't care about, okay, and uh, what I'm doing I'm I'm allowing the and now I'm looking at the at the at the uh, uh, the specification that the service F, right. And uh, this, this, service, uh, this service is also going to have an API uh, 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 interface and side effects. And uh, I'm allowing the simulator, this fudge factor, to be kind of the translator between uh, uh, the side effects that the uh, this service gives and the side effects that the environment sees. Okay? And uh, uh, this is what I'm allowing to fudge. So, for instance, if uh, in the ideal system, uh, uh, in order to specify it, uh, um, there were no rounds of communication, okay? Uh, but in order, because it was kind of, I wrote it in a deal way, it was centralized, there was no need in communication. But in the, uh, in the protocol, actually, I needed communication, and the environment sees my communication. That's something that, there's, that's a discrepancy that this guy is supposed to now, the, the task of this guy is to bridge the, the, that. In order, so now this, this guy is supposed to generate for the environment something that looks like a communication of the protocol, although here there is no communication. Uh, so, so S has to be able to, to, to generate this, uh, 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 um, this, say, fake rounds of communication to E. Uh, um, based on what information. The only information that S has in order to do that is the information that it gets from F. So in particular, uh, uh, if, you're, uh, 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 if you want your things to keep something secret, some value secret, and that means that uh, uh, F is not going to tell it to S, that means that S has to generate uh, the side effects, side number of rounds, without knowing 
the secret. That means, in particular, that the number of runs is not going to leak the, uh, the secret information. So, so there's, there's a secrecy guarantee going on here. Okay, so, so, uh, um, so it's true that I would like to kind of take as much as I can out of the API and, and, and give it to, to us to, to fudge, but uh, somehow the API is something that is, is, is given to me. That's what I'm supposed to, to do. That's my task, really. That's the correctness. That's the service I want to give to the outside world. And uh, this is something that has to be preserved uh, without any fudge. And, uh, and the rest I can fudge, but uh, I'm allowing it to fudge only in a way that does not compromise the secret information. So that's, uh, so that's the two things that are going on here. There are things that you may actually be, may be able to simulate with, uh, say, a lot of running time, but not be able to simulate with, with, with small running time. And that uh, would actually say something about how much the security you lose, uh, like to which uh, attackers you can get security. Um, and uh, if we're already here, let's actually say it now. Why not say it now? So the other uh, 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 facet of, of this thing is not only what F leaks to us, and is what uh, F is willing to take from us. Uh, and this is, in a way, you can, this way you capture uh, uh, relaxation in the sense of how much influence you want to give to the S uh, on, on the outcome of the API. So, so uh, um, for instance, um, the simulator actually cannot rewind the environment or anything. It just works with the environment as it is, it has to work with it on inline. So the environment kind of is alive through the entire execution, it has to uh, uh, just answer every, every query of the environment, or every message. Right? So it's a much more limited simulator than what we're used to in crypto, where you can actually go back, rewind, and whatever. So, yeah, and that's, uh, that's, that's, that's an issue. 